Hello everyone, welcome to the channel you're watching Horizon Rover. Today is Saturday 12th of November and this video is about today's daily challenges and Madame Nazar location in Red Dead Online. So the list of daily challenges for today is the next one. It should be quite easy one. One blood money crimes completed. For that you have to find any NPC marked with blood money icon. For example, this one. This is a blood money icon. You can go to these NPCs and complete this daily challenge. Five chain pickerel code. You can see the locations for the chain pickerel. I really like to catch them by Lagra Fast Travel at this location here. Just around here. No redfin pickerel at this location, so you'll catch only. Chain pickerel. Another favorite location for me is here. Then three cooked seasoned flaky fish for that you'll need seasoning like creeping thyme, wild mint, or oregano. Campfire where to cook it, for example in your camp. And flaky fish meat. To get flaky fish meat, you have to break down, let's say, that chain pickerel. Go to materials, find your coat pickerel and break it down then you're getting that flaky fish meat which you have to cook it as a seasoned recipe on the campfire let's do that now so when we have found plain flaky fish we have to tap left to right on d pad to switch it to the seasoned recipe I'll use this one oregano or oregano depends where you are oregano if you are in USA and oregano if in the United Kingdom. Right there you go, this challenge is completed. Next one, 5280 feet distance traveled by wagon with a passing member. Obviously you'll need a passing member and any wagon to travel for that distance. One Hamish Sinclair mission is completed. Hamish could be found by Oak Creek's run usually or by Katora Springs. So there are two locations he could be found. This is his house by Oak Creek's run lake and another his tent by Kator Springs here so accept and complete one of his missions for the daily challenge five non-player enemies killed from the hip there are two ways to shoot from the hip first one is make sure that your enemy is in the center of your screen and press only R2 button you are shooting from the hip like that. Then another way to shoot from the hip is to use painted black and you need your enemy also somewhere visible in front of you, not necessarily in the middle of the screen and you have to put few crosses on the body of your enemy and as you can see I'm holding my weapon on the hip. Well, I didn't mean to shoot that fox, but that happened accidentally. Well, let's take it to Dr. Creeps. To find non-player enemies easily, you can go to Van Horn, start shooting there, and all the Van Horn citizens will become your non-player enemies quite quickly. Same at the Butcher's Creek village and thieves landing uh, the base for developers next one three vultures plucked you can see the locations where to find them obviously it should be daytime and my favorite location for the vultures is Raskila fork so we can fast travel to tumbleweed then go to the north from tumbleweed to this location there are usually some vultures on the roof here, on the gate here and on another gate over here, sometimes three at a time. If they are not there you can restart the lobby, switch to the next lobby, to the new lobby and try over there. And make sure it's daytime as well. Hello Dr. Creeps. Dogs are looking good. Now for the bounty hunters. Two bounces brought in from West Elizabeth posters, they are in Blackwater and Strawberry for example, 
one bounty hunter completed with 5 minutes or more left and 3 bounty targets looted. For the trader, 15,838 distance delivery while controlled on mission, 20 donations to creeps, in that case could be any 20 feathers for example, to resupply missions completed. For the collector, 3 American wildflowers found, I'll show you the locations for American wildflowers, 5 bird eggs found, today they could be found by Orange Lake, I'll show you where, and 3 tarot cards found. So American wildflowers locations are here, then by Aurora Basin here and at this location here. Then 5 duck eggs, make sure you don't have more than 5 in your satchel already when you're gonna go to pick them up. So you'll find them today here by Angela Lake. For the Mutioner, one drunk on strong motion, two motion by a drunk in play interaction, you can complete it solo by your motion shack's door, I'll show you how. Three motion bootlegger missions completed. You can start them from Maggie in your motion shack. Let's go and complete drunk in play interaction solo. So let's fast travel to the motion shack. Okay, so here we are. There's a tarot card by the way is the motion shack in the bio area uh, so we have to go to the door step away a bit from the door not too close then press enter button when prompted and as soon as we press triangle button we have to start pressing circle button and the gap between the triangle button and circle button should be as short as possible. In that case, we're gonna complete it. So, let's do that. There we go, one. Then just go outside and repeat. It should be the second one now. Not too close. Circle button now. There we go, and this challenge is completed. No need to be drunk, no need of other players, easy as that. Where's Maybe. Alright, <laughs> right, next daily challenge is for the natures. It's 7 crafted or cooked at the wilderness camp. The fastest way to complete it is to craft ammo. One legendary animals photographed. Use Harry's missions for this one. Two sedated animals revived, just revive any. Two sedated animals, obviously. On that, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you next time. Howdy. What? Oh, what the hell?